Hey, what's up everyone? This is Russian Magic here to bring you in another amazing uh, false, I mean, uh, flourish. It's an original flourish, and uh, it also works as a false cut. So uh, I'm going to go into the performance first, and then I'll teach it to you guys. So uh, here's the performance. Alright guys, uh, so this is how the flourish is actually going to look. So that's how it looked. Uh, I'll go through it one more time, uh, really slow this time though, just so you can catch every movement. And this is not the actual tutorial, I'll go through the how to do it step by step in a second. This is just slowed down for you guys so you can see. So you can get an idea. Alright, so I uh, hope you guys like that flourish, here, and here's the tutorial. Alright guys, uh, welcome to the tutorial to this flourish. Uh, I just call it the Trinity flourish, just because, I don't know, because there's a triangle in it most of the time. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, but this flourish does keep all the cards in the same exact order. I don't have my deck in new deck order, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll put a joker on the top and the ace of diamonds on the bottom. Just so you know. And it keeps all the middle cards in the middle in the same order too. Uh, but what, the first step you're going to, or what you're going to start out with is the deck in regular dealer's grip or mechanic's grip, whatever you want to call it. And that's just your thumb on the side, your pointer's on top, and you rest with fingers on the on the other side of the deck. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this grip of cards. All right, the first step you're going to take is uh, you're going to get to the position like you're about to do the Sybil cut. And what that is is you're going to take your thumb with your other hand and pry off like half the deck or a little bit more than half the deck. And you're just taking your thumb and prying it off like that. And then what you're going to do is take your pointer and pry off another pack, like one third of the packet you just got, and then do the same thing again with your pointer and hold this packet with your middle and ring finger. So you're in the Sybil cut position, okay? And what you're going to do from here is you're going to take your thumb and your middle finger and you're going to grab on to all three of these packets. So if you let go with the, the other hand, it still keeps them all separated and they don't fall on each other. You should have a pretty tight grip on the corners of all three of these packets. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to grab the corners and then you're going to take your thumb and kind of do the same thing you did in the beginning and pry off again. And uh, you want this to be half of the top packet. You don't want like just one card or just a few cards. You want it to be exactly half. You're going to pry it off just like that, kind of making a little tent or whatever and uh, you're still holding on with your thumb and ring finger or middle finger so uh, these packets are still separated and what you want to do from here is uh, you're going to push up on this packet so right now it's the point is that your uh, middle or at your pointer you want the point to be at your thumb because you're going to bring it together these two packets together and make a triangle just like that so let's go through that again. We still have our cards on top. Alright, so we're going to do the Sybil cut. Alright, well, real quick, uh, I'll go, I want to tell you guys something. You don't want this packet right here to be this big. The bigger this packet is, the harder it will be for you to do the flourish. So when you're doing this, you want pretty much all the packets to be the same exact size. But just make sure this one's not gigantic. So, just get in the Sybil cut position, grab everything with your thumb and middle finger, break off, push up, then grab, grab this packet with your middle finger and connect it like that into the triangle. And this packet right here uh, is going to serve as like a bridge of some sort. And you're just going to push up. This part is actually pretty easy. Like I. I can move right here pretty freely, and you're just going to push up to to connect with your pointer. All right, at this point, this is what's going down on here, down here. 
at this point the pinky is on the side you want to move the pinky to the bottom and push up a little bit and what you're going to do to this packet uh, right here you're going to basically pull it down with your thumb and also at the same time with your uh, ring finger you're going to push it and jab it into your, your this side of um, your other thumb on your other hand and at this point your pinky is going to be the base of everything so this part is actually kind of hard at first because your pinky is not that strong and you need to build up some muscle on your pinky but everything's pivoted on that pinky and right now what you want to do is just take your thumb and push this packet in line with all the others and right now what you have is uh, this as you can see this uh, triangle two triangles basically together and you're gonna display it upward like this and you can open up your hands really wide actually all you have to do is make sure you keep this this pointer on this corner make sure you have all your corners with a finger on it because one one finger moves and the whole thing collapse collapses uh, so let me square everything up again I don't have cards in order right now all right so diamond on bottom jokers on top so Sybil middle thumb and oops all right so we got the Sybil cut thumb and uh, middle middle finger doing making the first triangle going across the bridge making the second triangle and remember it's really important to use that uh, ring uh, ring finger to move that packet and then flush everything together to make these two giant triangles now this part is uh, fairly difficult because also you're going to have, have to have pretty strong pinkies and at first it'll be hard but once you get used to it uh, muscle memory will kick in and it'll be quite easy what you're going to do is you're going to basically grab these two packets like this like put the fattest part of your thumb right here and grab it and you're going to pivot this whole triangle upward and break apart and at the same time you're going to rotate this wrist and rotate this this triangle like that and make sure this packet's not in the way because then it it'll see how it's breaking apart but you're going to push back this packet with your thumb and bring it out like this and what you're going to do is take your ring finger and pinky and you're going to push this packet in there and grab it with your ring finger and pinky and then pull it out and then what you're going to do is take this packet right here and insert it into this into the triangle like that and then you're going to take this fleshy part and push it in all the way so at this point you have this little bridge type thing and you're holding on to this packet with your pinky I don't know if you can see that and you're holding on it to it really tight that no cards fall out now from here what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and push this packet into your in between your middle and pinky finger on this hand I don't know if you can see that it's kind of hard for me to rotate my hand so you can see that perfectly but I don't know if you can see that my middle finger and pinky have a hold of this packet like that and you're just gonna put jam it in there so that it has a firm grip and then what you're gonna do is as you rotate this packet upward you're gonna be pulling this packet that you just jammed into your middle and pinky finger downward to clear it and bring it back through grab it with your thumb so basically what you did is you just had this packet here and you just made a circle All right, from here what you're gonna do is grab on right here with your thumb and middle finger and you're gonna let this packet drop you're gonna make an L shape now you're gonna bring this packet over here and you're gonna bring it forward to here grab onto it with your pointer and thumb again and just recreate that triangle then you're gonna bring that triangle up and you're gonna finish just like that with like a Roman numeral uh, five looking thing and you can finish like that and all you have to do to finish is let everything collapse and how you how you make sure it collapses like this make sure this one goes down first then that one and the very top goes on top and you can see the ace of diamonds is still there 
and the Joker is still there. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you this, teach you guys this kind of again, but from a different angle, just in case if you didn't catch all the angles, because there are some angles that I didn't really cover through the first part. So we got just go through this again. Just uh, get into the simple cut. Grab that part. Everything's the same here. Here I'll switch angles. Grab it with your middle finger, pushing up. And your thumb. Making that triangle looking shape. And then you're gonna grab everything with your your thumb, your middle finger, and the whole bottom two bottom packets, and pry that up, grab everything with your pinky. You're pushing this packet through. This is the part that I really wanted to cover because and see how I grab it with my middle and pinky finger just like that. And I'm all I'm doing is rotating it through. I'm dropping this packet, bringing this packet up, grabbing it again, and then I got this nice little triangle, then it let everything collapse. Now keep your deck exactly in the same order, and it looks pretty darn awesome. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutor the tutorial. Uh, I try to be as thorough as possible. It's going to be quite difficult at first, but I promise with practice it'll get a lot easier. Just need to build build up the pinky the muscles in your pinky to get stronger because your pinky is doing a lot of work in this flourish. But I definitely think it's worth le uh, learning or yeah learning because. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, so uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you guys. Uh, see you guys later on. Bye.